Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run synthetic minority oversampling technique in Rapid Minor. Now during the data collection process, it may happen that one of the class may get very less frequency. Say for example, if I'm talking about this original data set, the orange color, for orange color we have got very less data and for blue color we have got reasonable amount of data. Now this creates imbalance in this. Now because of this imbalance, it may happen that your algorithms of classification or prediction may not run accurately. So it is necessary that you should balance this both the categories. Say for example, these categories are male, female, churn, loyal, urban, rural. And to avoid the skewness, we should balance this. Now here we are having two methods to balance this. One is undersampling and another is oversampling. Undersampling is to reduce the amount of data. For example, if we are having very large data, this blue one, we will reduce it and make this both this same. So this is undersampling. The second method is that we will do oversampling. Here, the orange color data is less and therefore, by the method of SMOT, we will increase synthetically the data set and try to match both the data. Now, researchers, academicians, all of them agree that oversampling is much better than undersampling because in undersampling, we are reducing one data set to match with another and therefore, the quality may suffer. But in case of oversampling, the original data, this blue one is not changed. We are just trying to increase the amount of data in the orange one. And that is known as oversampling. Now, what is the procedure? How the algorithm increases the number of samples synthetically? So, the round circles are the majority class types and the plus ones are minority class types. Here, while collecting the data, we found that plus the frequency of data is plus is very less. Now, when we will run the SMOT algorithm, what it will do, it will identify randomly plus from here and five nearest neighbors will be identified. Five nearest uh, neighbors will be identified and on that basis, it will generate the it will rather it is known as synthetically it will generate the data set and by this way we will get more data you can see now the plus data which is in blue color is a synthetic data so it will try to match this uh, plus frequency with the circle frequency so both of them gets balance and that technique is known as smart now how we can do this in rapid minor let's see First of all, I'll bring the data set part from here. And let me connect this data with the result using the spline. Run it. Now I want to go in visualization where I can see that male and female ratio is imbalanced. Let us talk about the statistics also. How many? So males are 725 and females are 193. Okay, please write down on one page. Males are uh, 725 and females are 193. So the imbalance is there. Now how we can resolve this imbalance? First of all, disconnect this line. Now I will go in select attributes. and transfer this here select attributes activate the operator from here subset select attributes transfer all of them here apply now activate the operator set the rule connect this example with example so here, heart disease, 
make sure that the target role is labeled. Now I will activate smart sampling, up sampling from here. It is known as up sampling, over sampling. I will connect example with example. And you can see here if I activate the smart up sampling, it is asking me how many neighbors have to be considered. In the theoretical aspect, I already talked about that we, uh, normally we go for five neighbors. So five neighbors are considered. And now let me connect this with the result window. Run the process. Directly go in statistics and try to see the female. See, it was somewhere around 196 and synthetically the sample size has increased. Still somewhat skewness is there, but according to the neighbors which it found let us see if i change this amount number of neighbors to 10 does it increase so it was last figure was 230 so let us go in data statistics uh, it is 229 so by increasing the neighbors also now uh, smart is not able to increase the sample size so let us keep the reasonably five only Now we will run the algorithm here. That is the decision tree algorithm. So for this, I will split the data. So I'll keep this here. Now this ups will be connected into example. So over up sampling or over sampling will be feed it to the split data. Then I will activate the decision tree algorithm from here. And I will activate apply model from here. I'll request all of you that please refer my previous videos to understand the flow of this entire series. Now connect par with the training, model with model. So basically what the split data is doing is that it divides the data into training and testing data set. So the 70 percentage of the data will enter into this into the into the training and the 30 percent will enter into the testing data. So I'll connect this with this but still we have to specify that what is how much splitting we want to do. So in edit enumeration I will indicate this thing as 0.7 for training and point three for testing. Okay. Now the performance of this model will be evaluated on the basis of decision tree. So please pick up the performance operator which is related to the classification. Drag it and drop it here. Now connect label with label and performance with the result. So you can see here that by including small over sampling, we may be able to increase the performance of the model. That's the whole objective we are use. That's the whole objective of using smart to increase the to increase the samples in the minority group. We'll run the analysis, and we will see the accuracy. So you can very well compare the results that which, uh, which smart and without smart, it, will, it can be done very easily. See how you will do it. When you get the result here, it is 86 percentage. Now I'll remove the smart up sampling from here and the data will get connected directly. Now there is no up sampling which is happening. Now I'll run it. You can see here the accuracy has gone down drastically by 6, six percentage. So that is the whole advantage of using smart upsampling algorithm. So for more videos on rapid minor, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of rapid minor. Uh, you can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button.